Hey guys and girls, Michael Warren here from Essential Guitar Lessons and let's learn how to play Baby Comeback by The Players. This is a fantastic song for intermediate players to practice bar chords and some solos. This song has some great chords and a fantastic chord progression and for me it feels like a summer driving song. Now I'll start by showing you all the chords and how to play them. So if you know these chords, jump ahead to this time. If not, I'll break each one down for you. And at the end of the song, we'll tackle all the solos and the little solo fills and the intro solo as well. Don't forget if you like this lesson to subscribe and hit the notification bell, songs and lessons uploaded weekly. If you're having any problems with the song, leave a comment and let me know how you go with this one. So let's get into it, let's start with the chords they're using. Okay, so we're going to start with this A flat over B flat. So all we need to do is take the A flat bar chord, place our third finger on the top string. So we have on the E string, we have the sixth fret, and then we're muting the A string. On the D string, we have the sixth fret. On the G string we have the 5th fret, and then on the B and the E, just the 4th fret there, the bar. So we want to get that B flat in there, and it gives us a really nice sounding chord. We have a G minor, 7, so we're going to be back to the 3rd fret here, barring. So E string, 3rd fret, A string, 5th fret, and then D, G, B, and E all on the third fret. And that's our G minor seven. We have a standard C minor there. So again, barring the third fret, so third fret on the A string, fifth fret on the D and the G, fourth fret on the B and third fret on the E. And that's our C minor. We're gonna have a C 11, so this is a nice easy one. We're just barring the third fret. So we have third fret on the A, D, G, B, and E, and that's our C11. We have a C bar chord as well. So barring the third fret, third fret on the A, fifth fret on the D, G, and B, and third fret on the E, and that's just our standard C there. We have an A flat major seven. Now the way we're gonna play this one, we're gonna have the sixth fret on the D string, fifth fret on the G, fourth on the B, and third fret on the E. And that's going to be our A flat major seven there. We're going to have a C minor seven, so it's exactly the same as our C minor, just take our little finger off. So we have third fret on the A string, fifth fret on the D, third fret on the G, fourth fret on the B and third fret on the E and that's our C minor seven. We have an F minor bar chord there as well. So first fret on the E string, third fret on the A and the D and first fret on the G, B and E and that's our F minor. We have a C sharp major seven there. So we're gonna be barring the fourth fret. So fourth fret on the A string. 6th fret on the D string, 5th fret on the G string, 6th fret again on the B string, and 4th on the E, and that's our C sharp major 7. We're going to have an F sharp major 7, and we're going to do this the same way as our A flat major 7, but we're going to play that on the 1st fret. So we're going to have 1st fret on the E, 2nd fret on the B, 3rd on the G and fourth on the D there. And that's gonna be our F sharp major seven. And then we have a standard B flat bar chord there as well. So first fret on the A, third on the D, G and B, and first fret on the E, and that's our B flat there. So heaps of chords there and some unusual ones as well. Not too hard if you've played a few of these before. So now let's get into the song. So for the start of the song, there isn't really any guitar, but we'll add the chords in anyway. So before the solo starts, there's a count of two bars, so a count of four before we do anything, 
and then we go to our A flat over B flat, we just strum it once and hold for four. So one, two, three, four, and then our G at minor seven, same thing. Two, three, four. Then when our solo starts, we're just doing the same thing again. Our A flat over B flat, hold for one bar, G minor seven, one bar. A flat over B flat, one bar. Then we're going to do our G minor 7 for half a bar and then C minor for half a bar. Then we go back to our A flat over B flat, hold for one bar, G minor 7, one bar, A flat over B flat, one bar. This time we're doing our G minor 7 for half a bar, our C11 and our C minor. So let me play just those solo chords there and as I said we'll tackle the solos at the end. So starting on our A flat over B flat. G minor 7. And again. That's our intro and that's our solo. Then we go to our verses from there. And it's going to be doing the A flat over B flat to G minor seven. We're going to do that three times. And the strumming pattern we're going to use for that is a down, up, mute, up, down, up, mute, up, down, up, mute, mute. So a little bit tricky. Once you get the groove of it, it's not that hard. So slowly. back to our G minor 7, same groove there. Back to our A flat over B flat, one bar. G minor 7, one bar. Do that again, one bar. G minor 7 bar. Do our A flat over B flat for one bar. Then we're going to hit our C11 for half a bar, two, and then just our C. And that's our verse, so let me play that for you now up to speed. our verse with that nice little change from C11 to C there. Then we go into our chorus, so let's tackle that now. So our chorus is going to start on our A flat major 7 and we're going to do the strumming pattern the same way as we did before, just for a bar. Then we have our G minor 7 and we're just doing that for half a bar. And then we go to the C minor 7 and we're just strumming that once and holding for half a bar. Then we're going back to the F minor, and we're going to do a down, 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 up. So half a bar, G minor 7, half a bar, same strumming pattern. Then we're going to put this fill in, and you can put a bit of gain on the guitar here. So we're going to play 3 on the A, 5, 6 on the A, 3 on the D, 5 on the D, and then 5 on the G. So... Then we go back to our A flat major again, one bar. G minor seven, half a bar. C minor seven, hold, just strum once. F minor, same strumming pattern as before. Down, 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 up. G minor seven, same half a bar. Then we go to C minor. And then we're going to go to our C sharp major seven to finish that off. So that's a little bit confusing. There's a lot of chords in there, but let me play over that so you can hear how it's going to sound. Starting on our A flat major seven.
So from there we go back to the intro which is playing the second part of the solo again just our A flat over B flat and we can do this with the strumming pattern as well now. So just for a bar and then our G minor 7 for a bar. And we just do that once and then from there we're just going to play our verse again so exactly the same as our first verse and then our chorus again which is exactly the same but we're going to put an end on that now so we're finished on the C minor coming up to the C major 7 and then we're just going to play a B flat and we're going to hold that for half a bar and then we're going to do a B flat over F so we just have to bar the first fret as well on that B flat and play all the strings so just B flat B flat over F. So the first B flat play from the A string down, then the second B flat bar that first fret and play all the strings down there. So from the end of the chorus we have that C minor and then our B flat, B flat over F. And from there we go into our bridge. So this time we're going to start on our F sharp major 7, one bar. C sharp major 7 1 bar back to our F sharp major 7 1 bar C sharp major 7 1 bar F sharp major 7 1 bar F minor for half a bar and then our B flat we're just going to play that hold it then we play it another two times another two times. So let me play that bridge for you now. Not too hard. The tricky chord there is probably our F sharp major 7. So let's do that bridge now. bridge there and then from there we have our last chorus it's going to be similar we're going to start with our A flat major 7 1 bar G minor 7 half a bar to C minor 7 half a bar F minor half a bar G minor 7 half a bar our little fill then we're going to do the a flat major 7 again, 1 bar, G minor 7 half a bar, C minor 7, F minor half a bar, G minor 7 for half a bar. This time we're just going to finish on the C minor and we're going to hold that for a bar. 1, 2, 3, 4, then we do the F minor again half a bar, G minor 7 for half a bar, and then we do our fill again. And then from there with that last solo, we're just playing the whole chorus through up to the fill. So we have G flat major seven, G minor seven, half a bar, C minor seven, F minor, G minor seven, and our fill. And just keep playing that till the end. So let me play that chorus for you now, up to speed, and then we'll take it to solos. they have in the song. And that's all the parts and the chords to the song. Now let's tackle the solos as well. 
So the intro solo, there's a lot of effects on it. I'll keep my guitar fairly clean so you can hear what's going on. So we're going to start on the fifth fret on the G string, play that two times once. Then we play it again and start the run. So five on the G, three on the B, four on the B, six on the B, back to three on the B, three on the G, and five on the D. So let me play that slowly for you. Do that up to speed now, that first part of the solo. And then we do the start again, five on the G, play it again, our run, three, four, six on the B, then we go back to three on the G, five, and we're going to slide up to seven on the G, and then back to five there. So let me play that second part slowly for you. And up to speed. And it does that two times and there's a harmony that comes in the second time. We'll go over that in a minute. Let me play that first part of the solo for you. Second time through, we're going to have this harmony. We're going to start on the fourth fret on the B string, and then four, six on the B, on the E, three, four, back to the B, six, three, G, three. So it's the same feel as our first part there. And up to speed. The second part again, four on the B string, four again, six on the B, E, three, four, go back to three on the B, four on the B, slide up to six, and then back to four on the B. So that last little part. Now let me play that harmony part up to speed for you. And that's our intro solo there again. He has a lot of effects on it, so you can play around with what he's doing there. So in the chorus flows, after the first A flat over B flat, he does this little solo in there, that, or just a little fill. So we start on the fourth on the B string, slide up to six, play A to E, six B, A to E, and then back to six on the E, so slowly. And up to speed. So we come from that A flat over B flat. And again, there's a lot of effects on that one. And after the first chorus, we just do that fill that we did in the intro, that little solo we did. So the four, four, six, three, two on E, six on B, three on B, and three on the G. So. So we're just doing that once, and you can add that harmony on there as well, which is just the first part of our intro solo. So then from our second chorus, we're gonna put that little fill in again after the A flat over B flat there. So we'll... Just once there. So in the second line of the chorus, from the G minor seven, we're sliding up to the seventh fret on the G string. And then on the C minor seven, just play the eighth fret there, and that's now chorus. And then we have this little fill at the end of that. We're gonna do a bend on the 11th fret on the B string, then release it. So just bend it up, play it again, come back down, play the eighth fret on the B, do a bend on the 10th fret on the G, hold it, play the 11th fret on the B, do a release on the 10th fret on the G, so play eight, 
on the G, 10 on the G, and then 8, 8 on the D. So slowly. And let's do that up to speed. So you can see there when I'm bending the 10 on the G, I hold it, play the 11 on the B, release it on the 10 on the G again. So I'm holding it up. There, so let's do that up to speed. And again. And that's the little fill straight after the chorus. Then we have the main solo at the end. And we're starting from our little run up. Our but the end's gonna change. So we're gonna start with our run up on the A string, three, five, six. On the D string, three, and then five. And then on the G string, three, five, pull off to three, and then five on the D, five on the G. So let me play that slowly for you. And up to speed, the first part of the last solo. And then from there we're going to do a bend on the 4th fret on the B string and then release it to let it come back down again, bend up, release, 3 on the G, 5 on the G, 3 on the E, jump back to 3 on the G, 5 on the G, so. So slowly that part. And up to speed. And from there we're going to do a bend on the B string on the 6th fret. And then play 6 two times on the E string. And do that again. Bend on 6 on B. E string 6 two times. And again. And then 6, 4, 6 on the B, back to 3 on the G, 5 on the G, 7 on the G, 8 on the G, 10 on the G, and then play 10 again, slide up to 12 and play 11. So let me play that first part of the solo for you. there we're going back to the G we're doing a 10 slide up to 12 again play 11 on the B 12 again on the G 13 on the B back to 12 on the G 11 on the B 12 on the G 13 on the B 12 on the G 11 on the B and 12 on the G so we're just changing from 11 to 13 on the B string and up to speed. Then from there we're doing a release on the 13 on the E string, so we start with the bend up, let it come down and then play 11, 10, 11, 10 on the E string and then we're doing a bend on the 11 on the B string. So slowly. And up to speed. And then from there, because we've got the bend up, we're going to release the 11 bend on the B string. Play 8 on the B string. Do a bend on 10 on the G string. Play 8 on the B. E8 back to B. 8. So. And then play 10, 8 on the G. Then do a bend on the 10th fret on the G string and pull off to the 8. And then we're just going to play 10, 8, pull off on the G string. And then do the same on the D string. 10, pull off the 8 and we do it two times there. Go back to the 10 on the G string, do a bend. 
11 pull off the 8 on the B string bend on the 10 on the G and pull off the 8 play the 10 on the D 7 on the G 8 on the G and then 10 on the G there so let me do that last part slowly for you from the release of the 11 on the B string and let me do that part up to speed for you. That's a little bit tricky. There's some faster bits there with our pull-offs So let me do that part up to speed for you. And then from there we're doing the 10 slide up to 12 again, so it's going to be similar to the other part. 11 on B, 12 on G, 13 on B, 12 on G, 11 on B, 12 on G, 13 on B, and then we play the 13 again on the B, and then we come up to the E, play 15, B, 16, G 17, and we do that again. 15, 16, 17, and one more time. 15, 16, 17. So. Then we do a release on 13 on the E string. Play 11 E, 13 E, and back to 13 B. So, and do that again, and again, and then just play. 13B, 11B, 12G, 10G, and then we play 8, 10G, 10, pull off the 8, back to 10 on the D. So it's really starting to fade out there. So from that last little part. you enjoyed it there's a few little tricky parts now that little fast part can be a little bit tricky there but again just go slowly and build your speed up So thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed this lesson. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell and I'll see you soon.